Come with mummy, mother. No. No. Oh, I see how it is. Hey guys, so I'm back with another Disney fairy tale designer collection review. This is the third one released in the Heroes vs. Villains line this year, and this is Rapunzel and Gothel. And this one is my favourite from the five this year. Honest, I did skip Peter Pan last week. I, I honestly went to the Disney store. They, they still have loads of him here in the UK, and they I think they will still have loads of him here in the UK on shelves for a long time to come. He just hasn't sold out here. Um, but I did go to the Disney store and to see Peter Pan and Hook. I didn't even try for him online, and I tried to convince myself that I wanted it, but I, I just don't. I, I'm really not a fan of it. I didn't really like the details on it. I didn't think it was that great of the set. Um, a lot of people disagree with me, but hey-ho, everyone's entitled with their own opinion, right? Um, but yeah, this one is my favourite of the line, and not just because Rapunzel is my second favourite princess, but I, j I just love the artwork, I love the dolls. Honestly, this set is absolutely stunning, and I'm really, really pleased I, ma I managed to get it, because Rapunzel, much like Snow, sold out pretty instantly here in the UK. So as usual, every time you buy one of these Disney Fairy Tale Designer Collection dolls, you always get the free um, gift bag, as you can see on the left-hand side, with all the artwork from the entire range this year. Um, for just for future reference, the next one is Ariel and Ursula, which is out this coming Tuesday, so I'm definitely going to be going for her. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's start. The box is the exact same layout as the other um, fairy tale designer collections. It's like in the square box with the plastic casing. Let's take a look at Rapunzel's box. It's got the artwork of Rapunzel and Gothel right at the front. And like I said in my Snow White video, I think this is the best artwork. I think it just it captures the relationship between Rapunzel and Gothel perfectly. It's got that motherly daughter thing going on, but Gothel's still got a sinister face and she's holding her prized possession of Rapunzel, her hair. Um, I just think it's stunning. Rapunzel looks gorgeous. I love the take on the dress. They didn't just do like a, a random purple dress. It's got the normal plaque at the bottom which says Rapunzel and Mother Gothel and it has the um, like filigree embroidery, like not embroidery but casing at the bottom. When you turn it to the side it's got Mother Gothel by herself and it, she's enlarged so you can see her much better. Um, I think Gothel in this artwork is stunning. She, Gothel is a top villain of mine. I love her to bits. Um, and I just think this captures her perfectly. It's her classic outfit with the hood. She's holding the hair. I mean, what more could you want? As you turn it around, it's got the same as the other one, so it's got a little bit about the relationship between the two. The film, it's got some extra details that they point out right there, like her hair, her embroidery on her chest, blah, blah, blah. It's got all the usual stuff at the bottom. With the price, these do retail for £100. And on the other side, you guessed it, it's a larger version of Rapunzel. And like I said, this artwork is stunning. Rapunzel looks so sweet. She's got such an angelic look, like she doesn't know what Gothel's plan is about. It's just such an innocent look for her. I love the outfit. And it's a stunning, I'm, it, this is my favourite set, hands down. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to capture this without a lot of glare because I, I'm not going to unbox, I can't really take the plastic off easily to show you guys the dolls, but I'll do my best. Um, I honestly think the way these dolls are positioned in the box are perfect. It more or less is the exact same spitting image of the artwork itself. I just think they've mirrored it so perfectly. I was pretty lucky when I picked mine up in the store, I got to choose from quite a few of them. There were a few Rapunzels with really flat hair, there were a few Gothels with hair all over the place, a few Rapunzels with glue stains on her dress, but I managed to pick a pretty perfect one and I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but yeah, let's start by looking at Rapunzel. Rapunzel is absolutely stunning. Her face mold is gorgeous. It's a very different face mold to the ones that they've done before. Her eyes aren't as big as the other ones. And she's just got a really like cute look going on, but she still looks pretty sassy to me. I don't know if anyone's getting that. And But she's still got that little smirk going with her freckles. I think the face mold is stunning. She's clutching her hair strand there at the bottom. And her hair is gorgeous. It's got a lot of gold tinsel in it, and obviously it's super, 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 super long because obviously it trails to the bottom there, and Gothel's holding it. But it's got the um, gold strands in it to symbolise when she sings and her hair glows so she can heal Gothel and make her young again. Um, this is absolutely perfect to me. I'm really pleased with the one that I got. Her hair's not too flat, and it's not too, like, out of place either. 
um, pretty pleased with that. Um, Rapunzel's outfit, I originally thought it was the outfit that she wore at the end of the film when she kind of like kissed um, Flynn and that like Flynn told them about the whole proposal thing. Um, I, I thought it was reminiscent of that but I don't think it is because it's still a bit purple. Um, but it's got the traditional puff shoulders that Rapunzel has, it's um, like embroidered with a lot of gold embroidery and a lot of topaz gems. If you can see that there, let me just get that to focus for you. Um, there we go, her normal puff shoulders. It's got a nice, like, raised, like, white bumpy lace that does the neckline, which I think is really gorgeous. It's a nice little touch. Um, the embroidery, the gold embroidery, is a lot of, like, vining. No, the sun shape, that um, uh, that is, like, the um, official, like, shape of the um, kingdom, um, Rapunzel's kingdom. Um, and then at the bottom of her skirt, it is, like, a really gorgeous, like, burgundy purple colour. But this is a lot of flowering, so obviously it's symbolising the magic golden flower. Um, and you can see it clearly there, there's the magic golden flower, but it is in a lot more of the dress. It's a lot more vining, it's a lot of, it's a lot of foliage, and it's all embroidered onto the dress. It's not printing, it's, for, it's literally gold embroidery. Um, and it's got a lot of topaz crystals on there. The lace is like a really gorgeous like royal gold lacing that's like the, that's like the, the bottom trim of the dress and Rapunzel is barefoot if you can see there she is barefoot which is perfect and now we move on to Gothel and honestly Gothel's doll is perfect they've got her spot on much like the 17 inch doll she is spot on her hair is absolutely massive. She's got the three curly prongs on her as her fringe or her bangs in America. Um, and her hair just cascades down. It is massive and it literally just, because it's so big, it's literally squashed at the bottom there. But they're all like that. So please be aware if you are still waiting for, for this set to arrive, they are all like that. I checked them in the store. It's just because Gothel's hair is so big and so curly that <laughs> they had no choice. Um, but yeah, Gothel's hair is perfect. The look on her face, the, the face sculpt is perfect. They've got her cheekbones, her, her really thin pointy nose, her, her really weird shaped eyes. Um, the makeup on Gothel is like a really gorgeous, like pale smoky effect that's like a lot of browns. And she's got like this really sinister look going on, a lot like the artwork, again. She's got that really sinister look going on. Um, and Rapunzel is just unaware of her plans, obviously. Um, as you go down, it's got her traditional like red outfit, but to make it designer worthy, they've added a lot of gold embroidery onto um, the neckline, um, to the um, collars, the or the or the cuffs, um, and they've added a lot of embroidery to her belt as well, with like a re with like a metal gold loop to hand st um, string it together. The belt goes all the way down there. Um, and then she's also got her dagger, if you can see that, the little dagger that she takes to try and kill Flynn, um, sinister. Um, and then the, her, the rest of her dress is the same, like, um, royal blood red, like, silky material. It goes all the way down, and then the outline of that is a lot of... You can see the magic golden flower, it's embroidered in gold there with a lot of foliage to join them all together. And Gothel is obviously wearing her traditional cape. It is clasped together there with like a, a nice clasp around her neck. I can't of I, I I can't see if there's a hood. I think there is. If you look there, it looks like it's um put to, it's like a, a, together behind her hair. I believe there is a hood. Um, I haven't seen deboxed photos of this yet, but I believe there is a hood. Um, and her cape goes all the way down, it's like a black velvet and it's lined with gold embroidery on the very edge of it. The inside of the um, cape, if you can see in there, is like, it's like a, an orangey brown silk um, lining and I love the lining on the silk, it just adds a really nice feature. Um, but yeah, overall, the whole set is absolutely stunning, I think it's the best one of the set so far. And I still think it will be the best of the set once Ariel and Elsa come out. Finally, the back of the box is obviously the cardboard which shows you more of the artwork. And then you have your certificate of authenticity. Mine is number 5,418 of 6,000. Like I said, we are, in the, we are in the UK and we do get the higher numbers. But meh, it's not a problem. I'm happy with mine. That's my review of Rapunzel and Mother Gothel done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
Like I said earlier in the video, Rapunzel and Mother Gothel were my favourite from the series this year. Um, what's your favourite of the season? I know we haven't seen them all, and I know Ariel and Ursula are coming on Tuesday, and I will be getting those. Um, I hope I can get them anyway, and I will have a review of those up for you as well. But yeah, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!